What? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Let's Play Shadows of the Damned. Last time, we went to hell! This time, we picked the most amazing tourist spot in the world. Named the... Meat Carnival or something like that. Damn. Paula, wait! Stop running, my love! Paula, where are you? What the fuck? Paula! That doesn't smell like Paul, unless she stopped showering. <laughs> well, that killed my stiffy. Well, that's the reason I left. Fuck this pendejo! Stop eating my girlfriend! I paid premium dollar for that! If Mr. Man on Monster wants to play, Magnifico. Uh oh. Oh. I wonder what I have to do here. Oh boy! Ah, uh, where I go? That that barrel does not explode. Okay. Come here, Mister uh, Meaty Pants. Yeah, you think you're so tough? Take that and that. I was kidding. I was kidding. Stop running! You're a boss! You're not supposed to chase after me! You're supposed to be stupid with like big glowy spots that I'm supposed to shoot at! Not kill me! Where is he? He's stalking! Stalking me! It's okay. It's okay. I have insurance. Okay. That was probably a bad idea. Drink! Be here, cabaron! Come on! Come on! He's, he's behind me. He's behind me? No, he isn't. Hello? Satan? Whoa! Whoa! What, st stop doing that! Be a good boss and don't kill me! Look, it doesn't have to be this way. Uh, you're a Satan, 
I'm a Satan killer, but but can't we find some middle ground? Do, do you play chess? Can we can go eat somewhere? <laughs> there you go. There we go. You son of a bitch. Well, that's just not polite. Not polite at all. We got this. You're not breaking these stalls. Good people paid good money to install them. And you're not good people or good money. Where are you? Here you are. You think you're so tough? Oh my god, you didn't fall down! Run! Where is he? You don't scare me. Come on. Come at me, brother! Don't come at me! <laughs> no, walk into my trap. No, no! Bro, just let me blow that shitty thing up behind you. Oh, you son of a whore. I am so dead, it's not even funny. This is terrorism. No! J just you wait until I tell your mother what you've been doing in your spare time. Oh, I I'm sure Mrs. Harrison will be really disappointed in you, stupid meaty pants. I was joking. It was all in good fun. You're not one to keep a, a grudge, are you? Come on. You suck. You're horrible, and you smell like fish. No. That's not fair. Where is that bastard? He must be hiding around here somewhere. That's that's not fair. We did this was not in my contract. What the to be Barrels have horrible range. Or I'm horrible at this game, rather. Come on, come on. Get over here. I wish my weapon was stronger. I know I'm not gonna say the name. Okay, boner. There, I said it. Are you happy? Are you happy with me, game? Oh, fudge. Not good! This is not good! That was so close. I have no clue how I did not die. Oh my god! I forgot which button turns around, and I'm too afraid to t t t try. I really hope these barrels respawn. Come on, come on, come on! You big, smelly, disgusting, fat idiot! That goat has a family, you know. Anybody home? Show yourself, hell monkey. Um, Antonio, have you forgotten that we've been running for the last ten minutes? Why do you want to see him? Oh god, oh god, don't show yourself! I wasn't worried. 
Show yourself! One second. Show yourself! You don't think you're so t Oh, fudge me! Satan! Which way is he? Oh my god! No, 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 bad Satan! Bad Satan! Come on, come at me, you never learn, you stupid idiot! I was joking! Nothing personal! I I I think your wardrobe is 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 wonderful. No, I don't. Go back to the 80s where you belong. Oh God! Oh God! Hello. Yes. Come closer. Come closer. Human form? He has another form? Uh oh. I guess Fleming saved him. <gasps> what is this? Nice rock. Shove it into my face, G. Trust me, it doesn't mean we're engaged or anything. What does it do? Might be a tight fit, but okay. Ooh, cool. What exactly do blue gems do? I have a new weapon, apparently. So what exactly did that do? Blue gems let me transform into new tools of war. New gears of me. In other words... A new weapon. Magnifico. You know, I bet all the VIPs are walking around with blue gems. Yes! Oh! Oh, I am in love! I am in love! Is there anything around here that I should pick up before going through uh, to that horrible place? Yeah, I picked up some ammo, so that's pretty good. Whew. Well, I'm glad that's over. That dude was... Yeah, he was really a douche. So we're moving ahead in the world. We're we're in the the third zone already. I was kind of fast. You know I found Paula in a dumpster, right? What? You said you met her at the supermarket. I did. It was the bin out behind the dime a dozen. And you just picked her up out of the rubbish and brought her home? Why no? Sometimes I think I hardly know you. No, I guess you could say somebody had just dumped her. <laughs> also, what the fuck, man? In a dumpster? Really? What was that? I don't know, but we've got company, as in lots of. Well, if they pull up a chair, I would be happy to beat them with it. Look, there's only so much crap that I can take from you guys. I mean, I, I thought we could be friends at first. I, I even got you a Christmas card, but nope. You had to go and ruin everything by kidnapping my wife. I'm enjoying this? You, you think I'm enjoying blowing you all to bits? Huh? This hurts me more than it hurts you!
Holy crap, I think I actually might need to buy some uh, health drinks. Jeez Louise! I suck at this game and this weapon is really, really weak. Does it have a damage uh, upgrade? The teether, yeah, it has damage, reload, and capacity. All those would be actually kind of fantastic right now. Oh, thanks for the booze. The man who never had his fill. I feel that it's a tarp. It's safe, guys. I checked. The man who never had his fill. It was a cold and snowy eve. Certainly no night for a man without a home to be walking these gray and endless streets. Inside the pizza parlor, George Reed spun a lively tune on his harmonica. The local children giggled and pointed excitedly at the harmonica man as their parents glowed with approval. His reward would be all the pizza he could eat, six pies at least, and a warm bed in one of these folks' homes. He knew they were good for it. But when he tucked in for the night, George had not had his fill. As the years and calories stacked up, most men would have got older and fatter. Yet for all he consumed, George only got thinner as he washed from town to town. Tapeworm! Tonight, he plied his trade with some grannies and orderlies in a nursing home. hoo -ha! His harmonica filled the room with joy. After devouring three helpings of pork chops and mashed potatoes, he eyed the plate of the old woman next to him. Juice dribbled down his chin. Go ahead, Georgie, she said. You're such a good boy, you shouldn't have to starve. But George had not had his fill. Early the next morning, he was already on the freeway with his thumb in the air. Where are you headed? said the man in the truck. Nowhere, said George. Anywhere. It was a new decade, and tonight George played to an all but empty bar in the city. He had lost a lot of weight. Afterwards, the only woman in the joint took the stool next to him and asked him his name. The bartender leaned over the counter. You don't know this guy, Mary. George is famous, being all over the tri-state area. With a wink, he added, man's insatiable. And that night, George proved it as he buried his face in Mary's beaver. Ah! Holy woodland creatures! Had a boy, George! Had a boy, George! Play that harmonica, she purred. But even after five trips to heaven and back, he had not had his fill. The morning after was an awkward affair as they stared at each other over coffee. One wanted to feel more, the other just wanted to feel. In his final days, George was all skin and bones. I can relate, except for the skin part. His last meal had been a mistake. It was on a sidewalk one night in a small suburban town that he came across the boy. Hungrily, and with an agonized grimace, he opened his mouth to beg for help. Out came a cacophony of wheezes and toots, but the boy understood. Wait, you mean Jorge ate his harmonica? Once he was alone, George Reed looked at the candy bar he held in one hand and began to cry. <laughs> They found George's half-eaten body in a market next town over. In one hand, he held a knife. In the other, a fork. Chunks of flesh had been torn from his chest and his arms. Blood framed an eerie smile. The wind that morning blew fierce, and as it whistled through the hole he'd carved out of his own neck, the harmonica man played his last song in this world. There were gawkers, and many knew him. They shared stories of how he'd filled them with hope filled them with life. They, at least, had had their fill. <clears throat> Especially Mary. The end. Okay, so that might have been the weirdest thing I've heard this century. What the fuck? What the hell? Mm. 
Will we ever see Meaty Pants again? And who ate all the Oreos? The answer to these questions and more in the next part. The streets of Salem were a terrifying sight. The witches dancing with the demons in the night. Their evil minions watch the town while it's in bed. Wish them dead, wish them dead, wish them dead. Old Reverend Paris knew that something was amiss. He felt the evil from a spiritual abyss. He knew the time had come to purify the town. Hunt him down, hunt him down, hunt him down.